Well, good night, everyone. Welcome to our, what is this today? We're not going to chat. I mean, we're not going to chew. It's too late for that. But we are going to chat, all right? And our chat and chew, uh, we're going to be discussing CMOS. Hmm. CMOS, guys, CMOS is so good for us. So before we get started, let's have a word of prayer. Dear God, as we enter into this segment of our chat and chew, we ask that you would be with us. Bless your Holy Spirit to be here and bless those that are struggling, those that are trying to transition. Help this show in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, welcome to The T. Logan. We are so excited to see you, a.k.a. the girl with the overalls. Yes, I love my overalls. They are so comfortable. So you might see me in every show with these overalls because they are comfortable and I enjoy them. So that's the chat session. <laughs> No, it's not. So, the chat session we're going to talk about today is um, CMOS. CMOS is so good for you. Why do I say that? Listen, CMOS is so versatile. You can put CMOS in anything, pretty much. You can put it in a smoothie. You can put it in your, um, you can use it as a thickener. You can put it in your hair. Oh, I can't wait to make a gel and put it on my hair and then come back and say, hey, guys, listen, do you know what this gel is? It's called The T. Logan's It. it that's what it's called, It. The It Gel. Because it's going to be CMOS as a CMOS base because you can do so much with CMOS. You can put it on your face. You can ingest it. You can do so much with it. And it's so good. And today we're going to do a quick I'm going to show you what I did in order to make sea moss. Listen, sea moss looks just like this. It looks really weird, by the way. I just want to say it feels weird and it looks weird, but it's good for your lungs, right? That's what I learned. And it looks like a lung and it looks like your cardiovascular system, if you will. It looks really weird and it feels really weird. So don't be afraid of it. I used to be afraid of sea moss. But don't sleep on your CMOS, and that's what we're going to call today's session. Don't sleep on your CMOS. Why? Because CMOS is so good for us. Dr. Sebi, I don't really listen to him, but I know that he was a fan of CMOS, and he pushed CMOS to his limits, to his limit, to its limit, to the limit. Push it to the limit, right? That's something. So we're going to push CMOS tonight to the limit because... CMOS is so good for us. It lasts. I made a batch of CMOS, I want to say like a month ago. And I still, and, and let me tell you, I want to show you the beginning to the end. All right. And I want to say that I've had CMOS for a good month and I put it in everything because it's so good for us. And it, and it helps with your guts. It just helps as a cleanser. I've been putting it in our drinks. I put it in our smoothies. And, I mean, it's easy. Don't be afraid of trying new things, okay? That's the chat. Do not be afraid of trying new things. Because why? Health is your wealth. And because we want to be healthy. Because if you don't have your health, you have nothing. You don't have your life. If you don't have your health, you do not have your life. Why? Because we do not want to be dependent on other people taking care of us. Because we don't have our health, all right? So, how do we make this CMOS? I'm glad you asked. So, what I did was, I took a handful. I mean, it might tell you take an ounce or so. I took a hand. Listen, a handful of CMOS from here. Turned it. What is that? Is that a, a ladybug? I'm sorry. A ladybug was fly, almost attacking me. Oh, man. Okay. Me and you after the show, ladybug. We like ladybugs because ladybugs will eat up different things in your house. They will eat up the bugs. They might be a, a, a pest, but they are, are good as well. So listen, I only took, I'm going to show you this. Let me wash my hand real quick because it's really slimy. But I wanted to show you, give you a demonstration of exactly how much, you don't even need to get a lot of sea moss. You just need like a little bit of sea moss. I got like this much, this much sea moss, sea moss guys. This much sea moss is what I got. And literally... After getting that, guess what? After I soaked this sea moss, look at this. Look how much sea moss this gave me. So this is great. So what I did was I took it. I usually I weigh it, but um, 
But what I did was I soaked it and then it's a very, it can be a long process if you want to. I let it sit for 24 hours and I have filled it up and I put it in my refrigerator. You usually put distilled water or some type of water um, over top of it. And what I did was I washed it because I wanted to get all the seaweed out, right? All the gooeyness and whatever out of it. So you wash it. So I washed it, right? Because I wanted to make sure that there was nothing on it and you rinse it. And when you make sea moss, you rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, and you want to make sure that all the salt water, all the, the um, sand and everything, you want to make sure that your water is clear by the time you get finished working with the sea moss. So after I let this sea moss sit in my refrigerator, I, um, I drained it, and now I said, you know what, I'm going to go live because I want you to see exactly how easy it is to make sea moss and the, um, from the beginning to the end. So that you can take it with just anything. You just take a teaspoon a day and it's great. And just add it to your smoothies. And voila, health, nutrition, good benefits. So I got a Vitamix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sea moss to, ooh, to the Vitamix, right? And then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice to it because I use lemon juice as maybe a preserver. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to show you how much water. Now with sea moss, it's either you, if you want a very thick sea moss, you add a little bit of water. You want a thin sea moss, you add a lot of water. I wanted a pretty, I wanted a thin sea moss, but I ended up getting a thick sea moss the last time, but it's okay. So I'm just going to add the water to it. I'm going to put my blender top on and let's blend away. Let's blend away. So I'm going to blend it. I'm going to blend the sea moss for a good two minutes. And as you can see, if you can see that, can you see that? Yes. Oh, look at that. My blender stopped. Why? Because now it's too thick because I have to add more water to it. So if I would I it, I would say I'm adding about almost two cups to the sea moss. So now we're gonna blend away again, guys. We're gonna blend away again. And I'm gonna show you, because you wanna get all of it. You want it to be like apple stars or thinner than apple stars. So I'm blending. I'm about to a 10. I'm going to a 10 on mine. All right, look, I gave mine two months about Two and a half cups. All right, so listen. Here we go. So I'm gonna test the sea moss out. Oh, look at that. So here's what it looks like. It looks like a nice gel. It looks like a gel, and this is how I did my sea moss last month. And I'm going to blend it up and, and just look at it because it looks great, actually. Honestly, it looks like something that you want to just eat because it looks like a custard. But really, we're not going to just, we're not going to eat it just like that because it's too thick. And when you put it in your mouth, and I'm going to test it out because I want you to see my face. When you put this thing on... So I, I put it on the clock for two minutes. All right, on the money. Two minutes. Uh, guys, I didn't quite keep this on the blender for two minutes, but I did. But look at this. It smells like lemon. It smells great. I'm going to test it out. So, AJ, I'm going to ask you to come up. All right, AJ, come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, I'm just gonna get a teaspoon so you can show. Let's let's do it together. So I'm gonna get a teaspoon or a little teaspoon, and you get a teaspoon, and let's toast. Come on, let's toast. Bottoms up, okay? Not bottoms up. That's the wrong word. Sorry. All right. What do we say? Give me a word to say so we can taste it. Mm. Okay, go back. No. Say taste up. 
Taste that. All right, let's taste that. All right, come on, cheers. Let's try it. Are you scared? Yeah. Are you scared? I Tell the people if you're scared. I'm not, I'm not scared, but I feel like a, something's going to come out and eat my mouth. <laughs> Did you taste the dandelion today? How was it? It tastes like... Tell the people how the dandelion tastes. It tastes good, but it, feel, it made me feel like I had... So you had to up. talk loud so we could hear you. I had, it, I, I had to throw up on it. <laughs> you had to throw up? Yeah. All right, well... All right, guys, hopefully he won't throw up as we taste it. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's taste it. No. No. Okay, listen. Sit down. Listen. This is not what you want to taste straight up, all right? So I tasted it for you because I wanted you to just see what we were experiencing. Now, if we added this, when me and my, when me and my husband tasted this at first, guess what we did? We had, a, we tasted it with agave, because it tastes like some type of pudding. But, at any rate, let me show you my, um, I'm going to show you how much this makes. No justice. Oh, look at that. All right, so listen. This made, this is going to make definitely over 32 ounces all right but that's nice because this is a big batch and this is going to last me over a month okay so let me show you what happens once you let this sea moss sit it looks just like this doesn't that look like some type of jello look at this see how hard this is this is what it looks like when you let it sit and you can still, and let me tell you, when I added this to one of my curries the other day, it just blended right in. I mixed it up once, and you couldn't even tell that it was in there. So, I just wanted to say that this is what it looks like. This is the batch that we made, and it's going to last us for over a month. So, I'll be accepting orders soon, okay? So, we'll be making orders of CMOS, and then we will be shipping them out. And we're going to call it, what are we going to call our CMOS? No, we have to give it a name. Mm -hmm. What name are we going to give it? Keys, right? Yeah, right there. What are we going to give it? Health Moss. Health Moss. Okay, well, we got a Health Moss coming along, guys. So, anyhow, this is our take on Moss. This is how we make it from beginning to end. These are the tips. How do you feel, AJ? Does your gut feel better? I taste a little, I taste a little bit. Mm -hmm. my, my, my lung on the... Oh, I mean, it was really thick. Like, let's not... Let's be brutally... If we're brutally honest, I'll let you know I almost gagged on, on camera because that's the that's not the taste that we... This is why when you get a CMOS drink, they blend it in with everything else because it serves as a thickener. I don't think it serves as something that you want to take straight up. All right, I need something sweet with it or maybe some um, lemon juice or something. I can't take it straight up anymore. So, we're going to try it on our... You can't try it on your hair. I'm going to try it on my hair because my hair has been growing. Um, and I want to see if this... I know that it's nutritional and I've read a lot about CMOS um, and the benefits that and the effects that it has on your health is good. So, once again... We're sharing this with you, our episode and our segment on CMOS, because why? We love you. Because why? Because we love you. Because we love you. We're sharing this with you because not only do I care about my family, I care about you because you're my family. And after all, health is your... What? Good? What? No. What is health? Health is your what? Health is your wealth. Without health, we have nothing. We can't do anything. We don't want to rely on anyone, and we always want to make sure that we are healthy and our body is healthy, and we want to make God proud of us for taking care of his body, right? So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this session of, um, this chat and chew session of what? CMOS? I forgot the name of it, but I put it on the subject of what we call this session. So anyhow, all right, guys, good night, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode. Yeah.